We are here at uh, Winthrop Liquors in uh, Riverview. Look at this place, guys. There's some of their barrel picks. So at that point, you can't call it a bourbon since it's not aged in that new chardo. So what it does is it misses out on the wood I might spice, this the barrel up. spice, but it picks up all the sweet notes of caramel, creme brulee, just overall gorgeous. And it's high proof, too, which is rather nice to be honest. It makes rather smooth for it, though. Got some Malort there. <laughs> That's pretty cool with the uh, all the cigars that they have. Alright guys, I had to switch over to uh, voiceover, but this is the stuff that they have um, in their uh, bourbon aisle or their bourbon section. A lot of stuff that you see here, right? I mean, look at all this. It's a pretty good selection. So definitely come and check out Winthrop Liquors. I'm sorry that I didn't get closer. I should have zoomed in so that you guys can actually see more of the prices. Um, but they got a lot of stuff. Like look at these two picks right there of the uh, Starlight, the rum finish and then the double oaked. They got these uh, short barrel ones. That's the one of their single barrels. The one that I actually purchased after leaving here because that was good. And then they got some toasted uh, barrel, short barrel. They got the El Jefe over there. I don't know what that is, four branches, but I'm intrigued by that. Um, but that short barrel, um, single barrel that they have, what Sam was telling me is that it was um, X um, Bartstown barrels that fell out of the Rick House. So it's pretty cool. So it's basically Bartstown. But um, yeah, it tastes tastes pretty good so here we have some other stuff obviously you got the uh, rise right there we got the heaven hill bottle and bomb that's not a bad price and then you got some mictors obviously the crown royals over there to the left some bernheim dickel um some jim beams it's like all jim beam right there and then you got these interesting knee riffs so i'm really liking knee riff guys and they have the single barrel bourbon but then that malted rye six year i heard is really freaking good so uh haven't tasted it i'm on the fence about this whistle pig like i've heard good things about that alfa romeo one but i don't want to get burned like i got burned for the uh, six year piggyback bourbon so i don't know um let's keep going up here so they got some more whistle pigs there but then look at this they got that uh middle west um let it focus in here real quick they got the pumpernickel rye and then the wheat bourbon so i'm very intrigued by those i do have something i want you to try though yeah this is from my own personal collection oh wow man batch 23 I got it when we did the short barrel pick release, so. Oh, nice. Batch 23? 23, yeah. Wow. One of the original Nancy Fraley batches. You mind coming out on camera or anything? No, no, not at all. all. Right. So I'm here with uh, Sam from Florida, right? Yep, yep. Uh, hey, here at Winthrop Liquors. He is a really cool guy. Has, uh, has a really cool place here. <laughs> This is Winthrop Liquors here in, uh, we're in Riverview, right? Riverview, yep. Okay. 
So uh, he's letting me taste some stuff. This is batch, what, 23? 23. Joseph Magnus. Awesome. And Nancy was saying that anything like pre like 100 was mm -hmm. like her favorites. Yep. This is the Armagnac and Rancio batch. She does her own tasting notes on uh, Joseph A. Magnus' website. Yeah. Wow, that's good, man. Know, right? And there's only one other thing I'd really like you to try. I think I, I have batch. The one that I'm finishing right now is batch 108. Oh, yeah, yeah. And that's like the great pumpkin batch or something oh, like yeah. that. That one was good, man. So, what is this? This is Watershed. Cool. You ever hear Watershed? I have not. They lost distribution in Florida, but out of Columbus, Ohio, this is the first ever bourbon in the world to be ever finished in a Nocino barrel. What is Nocino? A black walnut liqueur normally made in Italy. Hmm. That's that's interesting. Yeah, Nocino barrels. Yeah. One ten point two proof, cask strength. It smells like fruity. Yep. So I don't know if Nocino is kind of like fruity on the fruity end. It's got like fruity nutty notes. It's kind of like a pound cake or a fruit cake, if you ask me. Yeah. It's weird. It's unique. Because this is the four grain mash bill that they used before they went to a more traditional mash bill. So this actually has spelt in it. But it's not bad though. Yeah. It's uh, it's kind of like on the Texas whiskey type of end because I am getting some like some of that like Texas like funk, like leather yep. and like woody. It's like a really know. dark oak wood too. Yeah. Wow. That's, that's actually really good, bro. Yeah, I'm glad you like it. We just had a... Uh, one of our, the old distributor who carried it dropped off a sample bottle for us. And oh, I was really? like, here, just try this. Here, sample it to some people. So now you guys carry that as well? No, I wish. Uh, they lost distro in Florida. Oh, that sucks. So it's out of Columbus, Ohio? Columbus, Ohio, right across from the Ohio State University. Damn. Mm -hmm. That's really cool, man. It's actually just south of uh, Middle West Spirits. Oh, okay. Yeah. Really I see you guys nice. have some Middle West up there. Absolutely. Have you absolutely. tried that pumpernickel one? It's really good. Yeah? I think I have a sample bottle of it if you'd like to try some. Uh, I'll try yeah. it, man, because I keep hearing about it. Like, the bourbon judge was like, oh, you need to try it. I think he's doing, like, a pick of that as well. But it's like, uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Like, I'm not a rye person. And then to throw pumpernickel in the mix, oh, I'm like... Oh, it's weird. It's super unique. I've never really had anything like it before or since. Yeah. Hey, friend. Welcome on. Damn, you got a lot of stuff up there, man. Like, yeah, absolutely. Gem of Kentucky, a few four gates. Five bucks under that Gem of Kentucky on SRP. It's probably got the cheapest that I've seen the, the Remus Gatsby here in mm -hmm. Florida. Mm-hmm. Try that, my guy. Thank you. That's not bad. That's really not bad, guys. So look at this, guys. That's some Four Gate, yeah. some Old it's Elks, the Gem of Kentucky, uh, some the other two XOs, some of, oh, that's the Barstown 11. Uh, no, that's the Barstown Plantation collab. They got the Discovery there. They got that Gatsby, uh, Light Whiskey, a few Doc Swinsons. It's really freaking good. Hey, what's up, man? Merry Christmas, man. Some yeah. Lux Row right there. Now I have to take a picture. I'm gonna yeah, have to. Yeah. Uh, I'm definitely gonna have to uh, come here and uh, do some shopping. Got the B523 Elijah Craig. Great price too. Wow. Yeah. I. What is that? It's a dark. Definitely gotta keep Sam here and uh, on my uh, on my list of uh, liquor stores to come to. This is interesting. Sinister Malt Whiskey, Left Hand Milk Stouts. Got some Penelope Four Green Bourbon. Got the Jefferson's Exploratory. Thank you, love. Always a pleasure. Take care, I'll see you again. You're welcome. Good stuff. All right, man. Hey, Ben, take it easy, my guy. Just... 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 Just
So Sam really got a cool spot here. Whole bunch of uh, whole bunch of tequilas. Oh, there's that G4. That's not bad. 319 for Los Muertos and Reposado. That's not bad. I know everybody's looking for that G4. I got some stuff that I haven't seen in a while. Even here in the. Even here. Like that Paul John Ver Nirvana. That's not something you see all the time. The Earth and Barrel Castle's Curse. They got that Highland full volume. The red spot, the yellow spot, and the green spot. Wow. Really good. And this is their uh, their bar area. Look at everything that they have here, guys. It's a nice little outside area for the night. Barrels, the Jack Daniels. Nice. We had a 12 beer too, but people drank that sucker down. Oh, yeah? Damn. Yeah. I can imagine, man. It's like oh. coming out as like on all the uh, top 2023 lists. That's what I saw. That's why I, uh, I had a spare stack junior laying around, so I traded a buddy of mine for his Jack 12. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I thought that was a pretty even trade. I think so, man. I had a spare, he had a spare, worked out well. Exactly. It's one of my favorite things about this community though, is meeting people and just being like, hey, you know, I have uh, one of these bottles, you have one of these, you want to trade? Sure, let's make that. Barrel aged Malort. Nice. <laughs> Or not nice. <laughs> I heard it's better than regular Malort. Oh, really? I heard it's not good, though. <laughs> yeah, it might be better, but uh, still probably kind of sucky. Yeah, that's my guess. Yeah. You, have a, you never, like, gave it a try? <laughs> I've given regular Malort a try, and that's enough Malort for my life. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, what is this uh, sinister thing? I saw them in a few... Oh, in yeah. a few places already. And I know uh, Big Storm is from here in Florida yep, yep. as well. Have you tasted that one? How are they? I got a sample bottle of the Big Storm if you want some. Uh, I'm all right for right okay. now. Thank, Thank you. you I want to check. But it's actually pretty good stuff. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The cool thing about it is that they throw in a 99% corn whiskey in there with the 1% malted barley. Huh. So it comes off real nice and sweet. With just yeah. a little bit of that baking spice and the wood spice coming out. Okay. And then the Sinister, have you tasted that one at all? It's but interesting. It, it looks sure. like it's like beer finished, like it says the milk stout. It's not finished, but it's made from the same mash bill as Left Hand Brewing's milk stout. Ah, they also okay. put dairy free there for a disclaimer. Hmm. So there's no milk in it. Okay. Uh, I do have beef with left hand brewing right now because I think their left hands need to be more diverse and inclusive. <laughs> but. <laughs> You're like, come on, man. Yeah, come on. Give me some representation. There you go. <laughs> uh, oh, man. It's man. actually pretty good stuff for an American malt whiskey. Yeah. Okay. Uh, honestly, cheap too. It's like 21 bucks. Used to be in the 40s. That's not bad. It's really good. That's not bad at all. 
Yeah. Then he got the G4 Blanco. I just saw that oh, there, yeah, too. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. I just saw the big ones up there. Oh, yeah. yeah the expensive the ones up there. Reposado. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Nah, man. This is a really good store, man. Well, we always have something cool and exciting in. I see, man. I'm gonna have to make my way down here a little bit more often. You're always welcome here, Carlos. I appreciate it, man. Absolutely. Well, Sam, if you want to say uh, peace out to everybody. Peace out, YouTube. <laughs> so, I wanted to give a big thank you to Sam and to Winthrop Liquors for letting me come in, recording, talking to me, giving me stuff to taste, showing me around, letting me just spend time there. It was a great place. Sam is a great dude. Definitely go and check out Winthrop Liquors whenever you're in the Brandon slash Riverview area. They are in Riverview, Florida. So it is a great, great time. Definitely go check them out. I would recommend it. And I'm gonna be down there because they're releasing a single barrel of Bee's Knees. Oh yes, you know I'm excited about that. So please comment below. Um, what do you think I missed on? What would you have gotten? Um, is there anything that you would have maybe tried to taste? And what did you think about their bar area in the back? So yeah, comment below. Please subscribe, because that would really, really help me out and I really would appreciate it. We're close. We're close to those 2,500 subscribers. I can only do it with your help. Please like or dislike this video. Lastly, I want you to enjoy that whiskey. Cheers. Cheers.